Good morning, fifth grade. Welcome to math class. Today we're going to start in with uh, chapter 10.4 and we are going to divide fractions by whole numbers. So before we get started, I would like you to do a warm-up problem for me and I'm going to show you the problem. I'm going to let you pause the screen and answer it and then you're going to respond to the warm-up in the comment section in the classwork page today. So give me one second to share my screen with you and we will get going. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, we're having a little technical difficulty here. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> and I got your, okay, here's your warm up, and let's see, I need to probably move this out of the way. You, um, a baker is making croissants, and he has 18 pounds of dough. Each croissant requires an eighth of a pound of dough. So how many croissants is the baker going to get with his 18 pounds of, of dough? So I would like you to answer that question for me. Tell me how many croissants he's gonna get. And then in this problem, what number is the dividend? Pause the video now and go ahead and answer that question. And then we will get started in just a moment. Okay, I hope we're back and you've answered your warm up. And now I want you to take a look at a problem that we're going to do today. So we're going to learn how to divide one half. Sorry, we're going to learn how to do one half divided by six. And my question first is how is that different from our last lesson that we had? What do you notice that is different? I hope that you're noticing that yesterday we did a problem that looked maybe like this, six divided by one half. And I taught you yesterday that when we did that, we needed to take six and we switch division into multiplication and then we use the reciprocal of one half, which would be two over one, and now our problem turns into six times two and that answer is 12. So six divided by half is equal to 12. That's what we did yesterday. So we started with a whole number and we divided by a fraction. And you notice that our quotient got bigger. Well, today we're gonna do the reverse of that. So we're gonna start with a fraction, divide by a whole number, my question for you is what do you think is going to happen to that quotient? Do you think it'll be big like it was yesterday or is it going to shrink and get smaller? I think you're right. Okay, it's going to shrink. So let's have, we're going to, let's write our goal down first. So our goal today, red. okay, here we go. Our goal today is that we will divide fractions today. We will divide fractions by whole numbers. Okay, so let's go back to this problem that I gave you, one half divided by six. And we're gonna use a model just to get an idea, a, a little bit of a word problem, and a model to get an idea of what exactly is happening. So I want you to think about this particular problem. I have a half a yard of fabric and I need to break it into six equal pieces. So what I really need to know then is each piece, what fraction of the whole yard will I be um, working with? So I'm gonna draw you an example of a whole piece. So I want you to think of this rectangle as a whole yard of fabric. And I only have half of that yard of fabric, and so I'm gonna cut this in half. And let me see if I, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I did that pretty nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this in half because 
that is, um, I only have half of this fabric. So I'm going to even more just kind of ghost out this other half of fabric. This piece in the dotted, I want you to understand that it used to be there, but right now we're not talking about it. So the only piece that I'm using right now is, let's color this in a little bit, is this right here. This is the fabric I'm talking about. I have a half a yard of fabric and I need to have, this is a half yard, and I need six pieces cut equally of that half yard of fabric. So I'm gonna show you that now. Let me cut that into six pieces. So let me see if I can get a nice green thing going here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, right there. So there are six pieces cut from my half yard of fabric. And so I wanna know what is one piece? What fraction of the whole yard is the one piece? So this little piece right here, I'm gonna even darken him out just a little more so we can, this guy right here, what fraction of the whole yard is he? So that's the, that's the big question. What we're gonna go after right now, let's just talk about it for a second. If I took my half yard and I cut them into six pieces, isn't each, each piece, it would be a sixth of the half yard. So this one little piece right here, this is one sixth of one half yard. It's one sixth of one half a yard. But I, my ultimate question is, what fraction is it with the whole yard? So that's what I wanna talk about. But I hope you're seeing the word of, one sixth of one half yard. Well, guess what? Of means multiply. So really, this problem, one sixth of one half yard, can translate into, oh shoot, let's get very glitchy today, sorry. Uh, one sixth of one half, again, is multiplication. So we are really looking at one half times one sixth. I did use the commutative property there and to rearrange things, but it's totally fine. But you guys know what one half times one sixth is. You're gonna tell me that is one twelfth. And guess what? That is this little fraction right here, this single piece of fabric is one twelfth of the whole yard of fabric. So let's talk about what just happened here because we remember we started here. This is where we started with our, our problem. We started with one half divided by six and then we ended with one half times one sixth. So again, we've switched out of division into multiplication and then our divisor got flipped over. So that again is the rule for dividing numbers is that you take your divisor and use the reciprocal. So that is, that is our special fraction division. So dividing by fractions means multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Okay, that's, that's it with division. It's so, it's just really nice because we're gonna go back to multiplication. So let's, let's see if I can give you another little problem about that. 
just reminding you the reciprocal means. You take the fraction and you flip it upside down. Okay, let's, um, let's maybe have one more, uh, another problem. So I'll give you this one. I just want you to take one third and I want you to divide it by four. Okay, well, we take the dividend, which is one third. We switch from division into multiplication and then we use the reciprocal of four. Well, guess what that is? That's one fourth. So one third times one fourth is one twelfth. If we wanted to look at a model of this, we would give ourselves a nice whole piece and then realize that I only have a third of it. So if I were gonna cut it into thirds, all of this space right here is gone. Where this would be the ghost, the ghost part that's not really here. So we're looking at this much yarn or uh, fabric or candy. I'm gonna take that one third chunk and we're gonna break it into four pieces. And the question is, how big is this piece in relationship to the whole yard? And that would be one twelfth. Okay, so that's it with the models. Now remember, the book is gonna ask you to do a problem like that and use a model to help. You don't have to draw me the model. You, you don't have to do that, but you do need to at least have an understanding that when we're dividing something small by a bigger number, we're getting these little, little itty bitty pieces. Okay, so uh, I have one more little problem right here and then we'll be all done. So this is a multi-step problem. And here's the setup for the, we've got uh, half a cup of red jelly beans. We have an eighth of a cup of green jelly beans and a quarter cup of pink jelly beans. And I'm gonna take all these different three colors of jelly beans, I'm gonna pour them into a bowl, mix them up, and then I need to share them with five friends. Okay, five friends, that's five people, I'm sharing it with five people. Uh, it's not five friends and me, it's just five people. I'm gonna divide them up. So I wanna know what fraction of a whole cup is each friend gonna get? Well, I don't know how, how much of a cup I have to begin with. I just know that I have all these three individual pieces, the red, the green, the pink. So let's first, before we do anything, we need to know how much of a cup I have of all the colors combined. So doesn't that mean I need to take one half plus, was it one, one eighth is next. One half plus one eighth plus one fourth. And so that, well, that's an addition of fractions. This does require a common denominator. So you can see everybody that that common denominator is gonna be eight. So we're just gonna make nice common denominators here. Four eighths, one eighth, and two eighths. If I add all that together, I get seven eighths. So, in my bowl of all the colors mixed together, that comes out to seven eighths cup of jelly beans. And then I need to give that out, pass that out to five friends. That means I'm splitting it up into five pieces, which means, guess what? Five is the divisor. So I need seven eighths divided by five. And here comes our special fraction division, which means I keep the dividend the same, switch division to multiplication, and take the reciprocal of the divisor, one fifth. And seven eighths times one fifth is seven fortieths. So each friend, each friend gets gets seven fortieths cup of jelly beans. And that's it. So don't forget how to divide a fraction by a whole number. You're not gonna divide, you're gonna switch to multiplication and you're gonna take the reciprocal of the divisor. That's it, I hope that that goes well for you. 
please come see me in my office hours if you have any questions. And uh, I made a couple of notes in our Google Classroom just about homework, so make sure you're paying attention to that. Circle your answers on your homework and be checking your answers and writing at the top of your paper that you have checked your answers. Just give me confirmation that you've done that. All right, that's it. Have a great day.